Hi, what's up YouTube and today's video, I'm gonna show you how to quickly and easily fix your refrigerator. So the issue here is the freezer is working, but the refrigerator down here is not. So there are two vents right down there and right back over here. That's supposed to feed the cold air from the freezer. And you can see these are frozen over. This is frozen over. That's ice in there and that's blocked as well. And then this is not frozen over, so this is fine. Fan's working, but you also have this port right here that needs to be cleared out. So the fan blows the air into here and goes straight down into there, but you can see that the ice is in here and blocked over here as well. So here is a piece of ice inside here. You can Use the little sprayer, try to melt it. So that's clear now. So you can see here the fan does work and there needs to be another fan back here working. I'll show you really quick. So if you look down in there, it's kind of hard to see it, but the fan is blowing on there on the condenser coils. All right, so I confirmed all the fans are working. This works, and the one down there that blows on that compressor um, works. And this port was clogged up. I cleared it up. Oops. It's kind of hard to see it, but it's clear now. And then there's also ports right here that are clear in there those two right there lead to over here as you can see and then this one and then all I'm doing now is checking on that drain which was clogged with ice as well so I just pour some hot water down in there and you'll be able to see the water come down into this cup Cool. All right, so the drain port is draining good. So what I did was I took this off to gain access. And you can actually use a shop vac if you're doing a flush out. But um, in this particular case here, I was able to just to take this out, put a cup underneath here, and then the condensate usually drips down over here. But another problem that you could have is if you need to vacuum out um, inside the coils back over here, I'll show you a picture of what it looks like before, before I vacuumed it. It was filled with um, dust and the fan had a bunch of stuff on it too. So make sure that fan is working clear and then you vacuum out your coils. All right, so this is all iced over. So this port is clear, this port's clear and this port's clear. I'm just gonna button everything back up, put everything back together and I'll show you how good it's blowing. Nice and cold, hopefully. All right, so this back panel goes on first. Then you're just going to plug everything in, slide your water hose into that little part right over here, and then put your screws in there, there, and there. So I have it plugged in. You can hear the fan and compressor come on. And then the freezer fan. You should hear that going on too. So you can feel it blowing cold air. And down here, just feel that. Yep, I can feel the air. So let's give it a few moments and let it cool down. All right, so another quick tip I have for you today is if you're going to clear out the drain ports for algae and gunk and possibly ice, get some hot water, rinse it down in the port, and you can use an edger line and shove it down there and clear the line um, to clear up those blockages. So it's been about 15 minutes and we're going to see the temperature using this infrared gun. Um, again, there was no problem with the freezer. The problem was the refrigerator was not getting any um, cold air because everything was frozen over inside the freezer. So this is the freezer. It's reading about 11. It'll probably get down to zero to negative two degrees later on. Give about 24 hours. Then 
and this is the refrigerator. I was reading 70 before, and now we're reading about 34. Awesome. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. And as always, thank you all for watching.